All right. It's been a while since my last video for opening up my monthly comic book, so I thought I better get this one out of the way before uh, I got December's package here. So this one's going to be late, so some of the comics might be uh, like a month or two off. So, But let's take a look. I don't even remember what the heck I'm getting, but let's take a look here. Three, three of these so far, and then get previews, uh, so you know what to order. It's uh, gonna show some more black label stuff. That should be pretty cool. I've probably looked through most of those online already, but uh, it's always nice, kind of, you know, thumbing through the booklet. <clears throat> Here's my comics, so. Let's get these all ripped open here. I actually got three packages so far, so I think I ordered a bit heavy this month, so let's see what we got here. It's gonna be that stack. Get the stack open. Everything's pretty pretty well put together, so I'm sure everything's gonna be in really great shape. Like usual, which is awesome. You can put those there. And I got my last one here. Get that one open. Alright, so let's take a look here. Alright, first one here is going to be uh, What If uh, Spider-Man. Uh, that is... Uh, what If, when I was when I was growing up in the 80s, uh, the What If comics were always some of my favorite ones. Um, had quite a few of those in my first collection. So, I was wanting to see what, uh, what some of the newer ones were looking like. And they, it looks like they had like a whole month's worth, so it wasn't like they were just doing a series. It just looked like they were doing like a bunch of uh, one-shots, so... So we got, uh, what if Flash Thompson became Spider-Man? I heard this one was a pretty good one. Uh, Walking Dead, 184. Let's see, this is going to be an older one from the older uh, What If. Uh, they reprinted some of those on the True Believers, so what if Jane Foster had uh, found the Hammer of Thor, which is kind of interesting since they already kind of did that in the in the current series so I always want to pick that up I always love these uh, old true believers uh, for a buck you can't can't go wrong with that uh, what if magic became Sorcerer Supreme I haven't really heard much about this one uh, looks like Batman 56 and oh, I almost forgot this is gonna be kinda the uh, the chrome shiny covers that they got and I think that's what they gave me on all the DC titles this this month and they got Ghost Rider number four. Uh, Kate's is probably one of my favorite writers at uh, Marvel right now. So uh, I've been enjoying this Cosmic Ghost Rider series, and I look forward to. I think uh, I think he's going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy when that comes out in the next month or two, I guess. And then we got uh, True Believers number one. What if the Avengers had fought evil during the 1950s? Um, I don't think I've ever re read this one before. Uh, so for a buck, can't go wrong with that. Another True Believers. Uh, what if the Fantastic Four had different superpowers? Um, so you can kind of see. Looks like they jumbled up the different powers for everybody. So for a buck, can't go wrong with that. And then True Believers. What if Legion had killed Magneto? I don't think I've ever read that. I think I kind of fallen off uh, collecting comic books by this time. So, should be an interesting one to watch. Or, sorry, read. <laughs> uh, what if Thor had was raised by Frost Giants? Haven't really heard much about that. Um, 
Sax, Benditti, Emily. I've never even heard of those writers and artists, so I'll have to see if that's any good. Um, and then we got uh, another of the older True Believers with the Silver Surfer Possess the Infinity Gauntlet. Again, that's going to be a oldie but a goodie, so another buck comic there. <laughs> Probably most of these are going to be the, the What If uh, $1 comics. Um, then the other What If here uh, was the Ghost Rider. Again, I'm a big Ghost Rider fan, so I'm pretty much going to buy everything um, that uh, that they come out with the uh, Ghost Rider on it. I thought it was kind of a cool cool cover to it, and we'll, we'll just see how it goes. And we got uh, True Believers, another one of the the Dollar Comics here with the uh, Fantastic Four not getting their superpowers should be a should be a good one. And again, I just have been keeping up with my Amazing Spider-Man. I've been been enjoying it so far. So with uh, the new uh, new writer Spencer, so uh, I've been kind of keeping up my series with that. And we got uh, Detective Comics. Uh, just keeping up my Batman there. Uh, another old one. Uh, what if Craven the Hunter had killed Spider-Man? So that's kind of a cool cover. I like that one. Um, yeah, so that's another one. I can't go wrong with any of these dollar ones. And what if uh, the alien costume had possessed Spider-Man? That's going to be an awesome one. Uh, I think I can remember barely re reading that back in the day. Uh, but that's since gone with my uh, first collection I had, so this this will be a fun one to read. So and uh, Batman number fifty-seven, and then what if Peter Parker became Punisher? Been kind of looking forward to this one. Um, again, uh, Amazing Spider-Man fan, definitely a Punisher fan as well. Uh, we'll we'll see how. Uh, so they did with this one. And then Venom, which uh, again, written by Donny Cates. Um, uh, probably best writer at Marvel right now, so I definitely pick up stuff that he's been putting out. Ah. And uh, what if Spider-Man had rescued Gwen Stacy? Uh, cool cover, cool idea. Um, again, can't go wrong for a buck. Um, this one is, uh, what if the X-Men, I don't know, I can't remember. Looked like an interesting cover, I guess. So, I have no idea about that. Well, I'll have to read it and see what happens. Again, keeping up with uh, Amazing Spider-Man. And then, uh, oh, well, too bad I didn't get this sooner. Uh, this is the Halloween, kind of the he Halloween DC comic. Uh, the Curse Comics Caval Cavalcade. Uh, it's kind of funny. I, I picked up the Walmart uh, Halloween issue, so that kind of tied in me over, um, and kind of look forward. I don't know if I should like hold this off till next Halloween or. No, I'll probably read it anyway. So, anyway. And Detective Comics. It's going to be one of those uh, reflective, uh, shiny covers. And the last one that I got here is, what if Dr. Doom had become a hero? Um, Dr. Doom's one of my favorite villains. Um, he's actually kind of became a hero uh, in the current stuff, you know, kind of taken over for Tony Stark. But uh, I've never read read this one, so I'll be looking forward to this one, see, see what that's all about. So anyway, that's going to be all my comics for, uh, well, these are my comics uh, from... October that I normally get delivered in the first part of August, but I have kind of been pretty lazy getting these uh, these all uh, you know pulled out with holidays and all stuff going on. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure to subscribe, uh, hit the the bell for notifications, and uh, leave a like or leave a comment uh, uh, with anything that you saw. So talk to you later. Bye.